What's going on everybody? It is, let's see, February 19th, so it's Friday, about two o'clock in the afternoon. Just got off work. And as you can tell, it's a winter wonderland here in Kentucky. I mean, we've gotten probably 10 to 12 inches of snow over the past week, been frigid temperatures. So I'm out here today doing some shed hunting with very low expectations to finding any sheds. But what I wanna do is I've got my Onyx tracker running and I'm just mapping out, kind of gridding out all of the most used trails, bedding areas, um, fresh sign. And so that way, whenever the snow melts, I can come back and run those same lines and see if I can find anything that I might've missed today. Uh, but the snow really gives you that opportunity to kind of get the lay of the land. How are the deer using the land? Um, you know, find that sign, find that trail. So the only thing I'm doing today is staying on trails or, uh, you know, heavy beaten down paths and uh, looking for buck sign, obviously. So I found a lot of great buck prints already. So I'm trying to stay on those type of trails. I just jumped up every bit of 30 deer. Um, I was trying to get footage of it. I don't know how much I got, but they jumped right out of this area here. They were all bedded down. So I'm going to get down in this bedding area, walk around um and hopefully come up you know successful but today is more just intel mri that most recent information uh, kind of laying down the grid pattern of the heaviest trails and how they're using this property and then hopefully we'll come up uh and, and be successful and find a shed or two so guys continue to hang in this is our first official shed hunt of the 2021 shed season here um but I've already put in probably about 15, close to 20 miles already. Unfortunately, just come up empty handed. So hopefully today we'll get our hands on some of this uh, white gold and we'll have a really good game plan moving forward on this property uh, based on how the deer are using it and using the snow to our advantage today. So continue to hang in there. And like I said, hopefully we're uh, bringing you some great action here before too long. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, so 2.44 miles so far, have not found any sheds. I was on a lot of great sign, and then the further I worked over to the area that I was actually excited to get to, the sign just got less and less and less to the point where I wasn't finding any trails to walk on. Not any deer trails anyway, I found some coyote trails. So followed that down into the bottom that I was, uh, like I said, that I was trying to get to, and came across a little kill spot found uh, the remains of a turkey and uh, I'd say they're bedded up down in that area there was a ton of coyote prints and, and trails going in and out of that area and then probably about 30 30 yards just on the outside of that area I found the uh, the deadhead here so haven't found any any sheds yet but I got back over to this area where I seen all those deer earlier and I'm gonna kind of keep pushing back to uh, to the truck. I'm about a mile from the truck. So got about an hour and a half of, uh, of daylight left here. So we're gonna head that way and maybe we'll come across a, a shed or two. Continue to hang in there. All right, back at it again. It is Sunday, February 21st, right at 11 o'clock in the morning. I didn't get out yesterday. Uh, Friday was just brutal, so cold and really not finding anything because there was so much snow on the ground. So yesterday it warmed up a little bit. So I was hoping that today, you know, some more of this would be melted off, but it's still uh, extremely cold. It's just 36 degrees right now. It doesn't really feel 36 degrees, but it's just not getting warm enough to melt the snow off the ground. And it's even made it that much more difficult to navigate because there's a layer of ice that's above the ground. 
So when you walk and put your pressure down, you step down and then fall through and then step down, fall through. So hiking through this stuff, especially out through any type of fields or open area has just been extremely difficult today. But out here at the main farm again and push back here to this main bedding area. And this is why I love coming out when it's snowing. I mean, I've come across at least 30 beds. I jumped up six, seven, eight plus deer as soon as I got down into this area. Um, they're not moving far from the area. I mean, the areas where they're bedding are just beat down and lots of uh, feces, pee. Uh, so a lot of fresh sign, but still, I mean, I'm dealing with probably six, seven, eight inches of snow too. So I haven't found any sheds yet, but we're gonna keep trekking this way, head push back further into a bigger bedding area, circle back around and then start working our way back to the food plot and then run some main trails. So guys, I'm gonna keep after it. Fingers crossed I can come up with at least one shed today. That's the goal, one shed. Not too, not too much to ask for, I don't think. So keep hanging in there. been needing a drink for a minute unfortunately no sheds again today and it was brutal out there I mean Onyx has me going 2.3 miles I would say it was probably right at two and a half miles because I didn't start my Onyx tracker until I got to that first little bedding area but man I found all kinds of sign I've been on heavy beat down trails all afternoon and uh, just no sheds found man I would say if I was, if I said 50, I don't think I would be far off, but 50, I'd say at least 40 solid beds um, all over the place, two huge bedding areas, um, two real remote <clears throat> buck bedding areas, and just no sheds. I, I don't know. It's probably 15, if not 20 miles into this shed season already and have not found a fresh shed yet. I mean, heck, I haven't found a shed at all. I'd, I, I would settle for a hard white at this point. But at least for this video, we are on the board for the 2020 season. I found that uh, dead head on Friday and I went ahead and cut those off. But man, check this out. Look at the mass. I mean, usually little spikes are dinky little horns, but this guy had some serious potential. I mean, for a year and a half old, look how thick. And they're heavy, dense horns. So I'm glad I found him. I hate that I hate that he went out that way. You always hate to find a deadhead. But uh at least at least to put my hands on it and put us on the board for the 2021 shed season here. Um like I said, long day, and we're gonna get right back after. But for now, I'm gonna head home get out of these wet clothes, dry off, rest up, get back to work, and we are gonna be right back at it next week uh, as this snow continues to melt off. Cause I can only imagine how many sheds I actually walked past today uh, that are buried in the snow. So, um, but yeah, just exhausted two and a half miles and I feel like I went at least five, maybe six miles cause this snow has a layer of ice under it and then everything under the ice is melted and there's this void between the ice layer and the ground. So every step you take, it's like step, push, break through the ice, down to the ground. Lift your foot up, step, push. I mean, it's it's just twice the effort to, to go the same distance. Um, so yeah, pretty exhausted today. Unfortunately, didn't come up with any sheds, but thanks to Onyx, uh, this tracker, I know where all the heavy uh, paths are. Cause just like I did on Friday, I just followed all the heavy trails and um, it really gives me a good idea and understanding of where the deer are moving. And like these hill hillsides that I went on, it's like the upper one third of that hill is the path. And I've always found that like when you're hunting, you wanna hunt and more than likely you're gonna find the heaviest trail about one third the way down the hillside. Uh, it's like those deer don't want to get up on top and walk the hill. They know they're uh, concealed if they walk down below the hillside. Um, and so and sure enough, that was the case today. Every heavy trail I found um, was about one third the way down a hill. 
So really good for Intel. Um, got that all marked and then I'll come back out after all the snows melt and I'll just run that exact same track again. I found two heavy bedded areas and I'm telling you right now, if I said 50 beds, I don't think I'd be exaggerating, but let's go with 40. So let's, I found solid 40 beds, um, two heavy thick bedded areas and then two really remote buck bedded areas. Um, one was right outside that cedar thicket and so I got a cedar thicket at the top of the hill. It's not our property and I've never been over on it. Um, always wanted to be able, be able to shed hunt or at least shed hunt that. So I met that guy via seeing one of the bucks that I've had on my property. He posted it. And so I reached out to him. We paid, we came good friends. We've exchanged Intel all season long. And so I just reached out to him and said, Hey man, do you care if I go and shed hunt that cedar thicket? And he's like, no, go ahead. Just let me know if you find anything. So kind of another testament of why you want to make friends with your neighbors, get to know who's hunting around you, form that alliance so you're helping each other out. And if they take the deer, great, reach out to them, congratulate them, but at least you know that they took that deer and you're not looking for that animal in the next season or whatever, looking for their sheds and they're not there. Um, so great partnership there. Again, I appreciate him letting me go up there and get some more intel, kind of see how the deer are transitioning between the two properties. So just got a lot more intel today and on Friday. I'll go back once the snow's melted and run on my Onyx. I'll just run the exact same tracks that I just did because there's no telling how many sheds I actually walked past that are buried, you know, under eight, 10 inches of snow here. So I'll run it again and uh, we'll continue to trek on here and eventually get on the board with some of these fresh sheds. So guys, continue to tune in. If you haven't already, get down there and smash that subscribe button. We're just kicking off shed season 2021 here. Gonna have a lot of episodes with that. Uh, the guys are getting ready to start getting out and shed hunting on their properties. So we're going to have a ton of action for shed season, and then we're going to roll right into the spring and the preseason for 2021 Deer 30 Outdoors. Uh, really excited. I uh, know I've got three big bucks that have moved in on this property after we took out two big bucks off of this property this year. So um, really excited to get on those deer here this spring and start getting that intel, building that hit list for the 2021 season, and putting in all the work, all the grind that we do here every year to ensure our success. Head over there to our YouTube channel if you're not on there already. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you're notified when we drop these new episodes. And until next time, guys, wake up and hunt.